These are uh, two by four nailers. Just screwed them into the metal sidewall of the bus. Um, what we'll use these for is to uh, screw some uh, paneling to make the sidewall of the bus insulate between the nailers. Uh, most importantly though, the tops of these nailers have all been set, planed and set exactly uh, the same offset down from the steel windowsill. We're going to take uh, planed and uh, sanded cedar, 1x4 cedar, set it on the tops of these nailers. They're all at exactly the same elevation. Put two screws into each nailer. And then at the uh, window post, go ahead and case in the windows and then uh, butt the casing into the window sills just like a normal home window. So that'll end up being a pretty nice um, window treatment, I think, for these um, all this steel and aluminum in this window. And uh, give about an inch of insulation in the sidewalls below the windows.
sweep of the road To photo, to record me Lines in a war There runs as does his chance Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what we're doing now is uh, what I'll call casing all these uh, bus ribs and the window posts. Uh, the way a bus is built is there are um, ribs, just like a whale, and the ribs are tied to the uh, floor and then wrap up around, tie to the other side of the floor and then extend down about a foot and a half and that's what the outside skirting tied to. These ribs are um, about two inches wide by an inch and a half wide. Very strong steel. Uh, they're square tubes. Very strong. Very hard steel. Um, much harder steel than the sheet metal. These uh, self-drilling screws do not like penetrating that steel so what I'm having to do is in order to screw these casing boards to that rib, having to mark, pre-drill the holes, and then the self-drilling screw, screw will drive in and bite and pull itself in. Um, so that's a lot of, a little bit of trouble having to mark, drill, and then screw. Um, this represents quite a bit of steel and aluminum and it's not real pretty. Uh, you can see I've put in the window sills already. The sill just sits on top of the uh, square top of the uh, wall nailers. It's glued and uh, with four nails in it. And this is a uh, piece of just one by four by eight milled cedar. I cut a chamfer into the side, squared off all the ends, um, sanded them down, and then um, Pat put one coat of uh, linseed oil on it. They turned out pretty well. They've got a pretty nice hand and they feel pretty good and they actually look pretty good. I've pulled the grain right out of them. Um, for this element, I'm simulating casing a window post. Um, it's just a straight up 2 by 4 I've had to process it so it'll fit between these clips. And then there's an emergency window so it'll sit flush to the structural post. You can see I milled out grooves for that uh, steel clip. Sits flush with the post and I uh, you know, tried to simulate what a normal window casing would look like. Normally there's two side faces and then a face board. Uh, so I milled a groove into the edge of this so it looks like there's a side board and then a face board attached to that. Um, two screws per post. It's not really going to hold any weight or do anything structural. It's just holding it to the side of the bus. I am going to put a shelf the length of the bus on top of this square, another four inch shelf coming out and on that I'll put a, a lip and then on that shelf will be the lights that up, up shine light to ceiling, that'll be how we light the bus and then Pat wants to put some Christmas lights in there kind of give some sparkle to it. Uh, the way I'm setting these is I, I pre-drilled all these screws with a, a template and then used the drill press to drill them square and straight uh, the idea of that is since these screw heads are exposed I want the line of screw heads to be exactly straight the length of the bus because you can see there you see 36 feet of uh, windows in a row so that line has got to be straight otherwise it'll look wonky so these two screws are all in exactly the same place or very close to the same place on every board so that line of screws will be straight and the way to place these is Put the screw in, tap tap, tap tap, that marks the spot, and I'll bring a uh, hardened titanium bit, drill, pre-drill the holes into this steel post, and then the self-drilling uh, screws will cut and then drill and then just pull straight in. And that's how these are going to be, only uh, 28 of them to do.
Flowers and cares glazed to gray, shriveled and stricken to dots. The left hand grass brought the body grass to not
<clears throat> well, that's um, that's pretty much episode seven. The framing on this bus is uh, is done. Next step is to uh, rough in the electrical, the 12 volt and the 120 volt wiring. Hang some drain lines, and then run some hot and cold water lines. Thank you.